So, I wanted to keep going with the Shuckle team, and um, I wish we had more wins with it. Uh, four to three, it, it's great, I like that, but I wish we could do a little bit better with that. Um, but what I decided to do for this week is I decided to go back to my, or, Square 2's team um, from 2014. It was based around Charizard and Trick Room, uh, and I really liked it. It was one of my best teams, one of the best, one of the best teams I've used, not one of my best teams because I didn't make it. Um, so I wanted to go back to it, remake it, make it work in this meta, and see what we can do. So I dropped a few things. Um, he had three Trick Room setters, I think. It was Trevenant, Kecleon, and Mr. Mime. I didn't like Trevenant and Kecleon, to be quite honest. It kind of made this team really weak to things. Um, so I went for Porygon 2 instead. Um, and he had a Rhydon on the original team. I wanted to go for a little bit more power, so I went for Rhyperior. Um, and, you know, I'm really weak to water and grass, so I brought in Ferrothorn and Ludicolo. So we're gonna see how that works. And, um, yeah, I didn't go for an intro because I just kinda wanna make it a little bit more natural, so I'm just, like, coming into the video talking. Um, no reason for intros. You know who I am if you're here. If you can't, you can just read the name down below. I'm Ryan. Not hard to remember. Um, alright, so it looks like he's got an Excadrill Salamence Swampert. Uh, Amoongus, Thunderous, and Tyranitar. So, I mean, Charizard's the main damage dealer, and to be quite honest, it's kind of a weird Charizard. Um, it's 252 HP, I think 148 defense, and 110 special attack. And what that lets me do is, 100% of the time, survive a double edge from a Kangaskhan, from the normal one, you know, Jolly. Um, survive that 100% of the time, one hit KO back with overheat. The normal Landris, Choice Scarf, it, which is common, Adamant, I can survive a Rock Slide 100% of the time, and one hit KO then back with Overheat 100% of the time. So th I figure that makes a lot of sense. Why bother being worried about Kangaskhan double edging me to death when I can just survive it? Um, this is actually a Charizard that I used way back when on that team, um, and that was the EV spread I came up with. I think it makes sense. It works out now, um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so, let's think about this for a second. Um, Mr. Mime's gonna be really nice. I can quick guard. Actually, yeah, I can quick guard. No, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go Mr. Mime. We're gonna go Ludicolo. Uh, we're gonna bring Charizard in the back. And I think... I think Rhyperior is gonna be really solid. Mmm, but that's Swampert, though. Ooh. Uh, no, we're gonna bring Ferrothorn, we're gonna just have to hope that the Salamence is special. I mean, phys uh, physical, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, Ludicolo seems weird on this team, because it's like a pseudo-sun team. The sun's really only there for Charizard and Rhyperior. Rhyperior really likes the sun for his wa for water-type moves. I didn't calc anything out about that, so I don't know if, how, what I can survive, but, uh, we'll see. So I'm hoping he does start off with Salamence and Thunderous. Um, so I can just go straight for a nice and powerful, excuse me, I can just go for a Dazzling Gleam Ice Beam. I don't even care if he taunts me. Um, what did I give this Mr. Mime? I should have given him Mental Herb, shouldn't I? I gave him Citrus Berry, that's useful, but I don't know. I'm giving him Mental Herb. Alright, well, I guess what I can do is I can just swap out... Wait, no, yeah, wait, no, I can just go for Dazzling Gleam and fake out the Thunderous. What am I doing? Duh. Duh! Oh, he's gonna protect. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we'll get some damage off onto the Thunderous. That does a decent amount of damage. Oh, that was a crit, okay. Um, so he flinches. So we're gonna have to get that Quick Guard up. Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna switch out necessarily. Uh, he has not, he hasn't revealed that he's Mega, though. Hmm, well, we'll see if he's Mega. I'm gonna go for Quick Guard. I'm gonna go for that nice and powerful Ice Beam onto the Salamence. He protected without Mega Evolving, which is kinda interesting. But we'll see what happens here. As the first time using this team, I built this yesterday. I have no idea how this works. I don't I'm pretty sure I can't take a Double Edge from a Mega Salamence, but we'll see. If he mega that turn, I would've switched out to Ferrothorn, but he didn't, so... I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's Mega Tyranitar. Maybe. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> really hope not. 
Um, but we'll find out. We'll find out in a second. So this is kind of like... Oh, he's switching out. Okay. I should have ice beamed the Thunderous. Wait, why would he switch out into Swampert? Wait, why is he thunder waving me? Wait, I'm really confused now. Okay, so he's thunder waving me? I'm gonna go for Trick Room then. Trick Room, and I'm gonna Giga Drain the Swampert. That's a weird thing to do, bringing a Swampert on a Ludicolo. Now I'm really lost. Is that a Mega Swampert? Am I gonna, like, hate my life right now? Mr. Mime's really physical. I was considering making him special because then otherwise I lose out to Life Orb Aegislash, which obviously isn't that common, but still kind of there, you know? Um, but the majority of this metagame is physical, which is weird because there's no special Intimidate. <laughs> so it's like everyone and their mother uses... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why he's paralyzing me. That's a dead Swampert, 100%. Um, alright, well, I got Trick Room up. Crit definitely did not matter. I'm, like, ma I'm actually max special attack. Yeah, no, I am. Um, yeah, no, a lot of people were running speed on Ludicolo, and I'm like, this is, this is not a speedy Ludicolo, so I'm gonna just run max special attack instead of using my EVs in speed. Uh, which is really helpful, because I get a lot of KOs with that. Um, very important, very important. Um, I don't remember who, but they were important. <laughs> Um, so he's gonna bring an Excadrill now? I, I don't, I don't get this. Um, but I'm gonna switch out my Mr. Mime for Ferrothorn to take the Iron Head. Um, and I'm just gonna Ice Beam the Thunderous. Because it's starting to annoy me. And he just straight up forfeits. Okay. Alright, well, I'll take it. I'll take it and run with that. Uh, first win for us. I don't really know what he was doing there. That was kind of odd. Some very questionable plays there. Um, I mean, bringing in a Swampert on a Ludicolo, I guess he didn't have a Mega, because if that was Mega Salamence physically, that could have just ripped through that Ludicolo pretty easily. But I guess he didn't want to, so what are you going to do? Uh, but yeah, I really like Mr. Mime. He's actually really good. Uh, quick Guard and Wide Guard on the same Pokemon. That also sets up Trick Room. It's just the perfect support for this team, because, you know, like... Um, we're weak to a lot of spread moves, you know, Charizard Rock Slide, um, Rhyperior Earthquake, um, Ferrothorn Heat Wave, and then you've got the priority that is uh, Brave Bird for the Ludicolo, so it's like, that's actually a really solid choice. Um, so it looks like, actually, uh, we have, we're facing a Trick Room team, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Charizard Ludicolo. Um, because, see, what was really good about this team was that it just dominated other Trick Room teams. Um, I don't know if you remembered that battle that I had against Terrolution 23, um, but his team was also Trick Room, and I just didn't even attempt Trick Room at all. I just left Charizard in and let him just reign free, you know? Uh, so, it was definitely one of those really awesome things, um, and that's what I like about this team. Um, so, I'm gonna bring Rhyperior, because I really just want to use him. And I guess I'll bring, uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's gonna be pretty solid in this, against this team. Uh, we just have to make sure we get rid of the, uh, Rotom Heat. So, my Charizard is running Overheat, Heat Wave, and Solar Beam. Not the greatest, I've never been a big fan of running Heat Wave and Overheat, but you really, Overheat gets so many KOs, you can't run without it. But then, like, at the same time, you think about it, and you're like, well... Yeah, it's also one of those things where overheat makes you negative too, so you kind of have to run with heat wave too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mega evolve, overheat that Aromatisse. That should nuke it if it's not running my my special Aromatisse. Um, that should just one shot it. I'm hoping. I actually don't know. I have no idea. I've never calc for that because I always just consider heat wave instead of overheat. Well, we'll find out. We will definitely find out. If I can get rid of the... I'm faking out the Ampharos because I don't want him to Thunderbolt my 
my uh, Charizard next turn. Oh, I could. Did I bring... I brought Rhyperior! I can leave him in! Not that I'm going to, because obviously there's no reason to. Um, but he's not going to protect, which is interesting, because Ludicolo's fake out is pretty obvious. Uh, we're going to get that overheat off. Is that going to take out the Aromatease? Please say it will. Oh, I hate killing Aromatease, but that is awesome. I'm not even close to max. I'm at 110 special attack, guys. 110. That's 110. It's just, it's all you need. Um, so in comes the Rotom. So I'm going to switch out here for my Rhyperior. That's obviously my best play. And even though I am in Sun, I'm still going to over, I'm still going to Hydro Pump this Rotom. Um, I'm not too concerned about the Ampharos, because once I bring in Rhyperior, that's good game well played. For the Ampharos, not for me. Um, but not bringing Trick Room does kind of put me in a bad position, I guess. I really like Rhyperior's design, it's so good. Uh, we're going to get an Overheat off, probably onto, oh, onto the Ludicolo. That's going to do a lot. Oh my god, I know we're in the sun, but jeez. Oh, Life Orb. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hydro Pump comes off. I get it. Good. I know we're in the sun, but this should still do some decent damage. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. And then we get a Power Gem. Not even a Thunderbolt. That was cool. Um, but I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide Ice Beam, I think. I dropped my Stylus, which is a Lego Sword. Because <laughs> my Stylus is actually right here. Oh, right. I put my DS there. Now I got a stylus. Um, Alright, let's see. Yeah, because I'm missing the stylus from my regular DS. I, I don't know where it went. Um, so, Rhyperior. Oh, I don't have Rock Slide. Why the hell do I not have Rock Slide? I have Hammer Arm. <laughs> That's silly. Um, okay. This is not good. I guess I'll just Hammer Arm the Rotom. And... Ice Beam the Ampharos, because I'm going to lose my Ludicolo. What? Okay, I'm not losing Ludicolo. I thought I was going to. That was interesting. Okay. I guess he Volt Switched on the Ludicolo. Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? I forgot this thing got Focus Blast. Oh, Rhyperior. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no. Okay. This was a bad idea not to bring a Trick Rumor. That was a really bad idea. Um, oh, this is so not good. I guess... I'm gonna Heat Wave. That should still take out the Rotom. And I'm just gonna switch out my Ludicolo for Ferrothorn. I know that's a really super risky play. But I'm hoping he just Volt Switches again. Man, I played that really badly. I played that so badly. I totally forgot about Focus Blast. Um, I totally forgot about that. I did not think it, I would take so much damage to that. And I really, I don't know why I'm not running Rock Slide. I really should be running Rock Slide. Uh, it only makes sense to run Rock Slide. I, I, don't, I don't need Hammer Arm for anything. Um, Alright, well, he's going to Volt Switch again. This time on the Charizard. That's not too bad. That's not too bad for me. If I take out the Rotom here, that's great for me, though. That's all I need to do. Oh, right, he's switching out. Damn it, that's a... Damn it! Wait, he's so fast. Why is he faster than me? I thought I calced that right. I didn't calc that right. God dang it, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to switch Mr. Mime for uh, Mental Herb. Yeah, that did nothing. Why power? I, I know it's like four times super effective, but why are you running it? You have Thunderbolt. I, I don't get that. Alright, well, Ludicolo comes in. Uh, Ludicolo comes in. What can I do with Ludicolo here? I'm going to Giga Drain the Melodic, and I'm going to Seed Bomb the Ampharos. No! Oh, well, too late. I was gonna... I should... I should not have done that, because that's not gonna kill it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I played that really poorly. That was so bad. Oh, man. I could have played that so much better, and I didn't. Look at me failing already. Look at it! <laughs> oh, let's just hope he makes a mistake here and I can at least get, you know, like a Giga Drain off, gain all my HP back. He's gonna go for a Scald in the sun against things that resist it. Okay, fair enough. 
Well, glad you did that. Now I get the Giga Drain off. I gain a lot of HP back. Not a lot, but enough. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it's still enough. Oh, and your Citrus Beverry, of course. And I'm not going to take out this Ampharos. No, he's going to attack me first. Um, I guess I'll just attack the Ampharos next turn. Yeah, I really should have leech seeded. I don't know why I went for seed bomb. That that literally made no sense. Um, okay, so I guess ugh, I don't have anything for this Rotom. I have to ice beam the Ampharos, and I I really should have just leech seeded. I don't know why I didn't. Um, but I'm gonna I, I guess I'll leech seed the melodic because I don't think it can take me out, especially if it keeps going for Ludicolo. No, it still didn't take me out. Beautiful. Beautiful, and that, that's dead Ampharos. Yep, good. Now, just don't miss the Leech Seed, which I should have gotten off a turn before, um, but that was that was, that was a really mis bad misplay on my part. I, I really should have been more careful around that Ampharos. I totally forgot it had a um, thing. I totally forgot about that. Uh, but now the sun's gone, so Rotom should not be able to take out my Ludicolo here. Um, and I should be able to take it out with a Hydro Pump, hopefully. Uh, and I'm going to protect. And we'll see what this happens. Now, what's good about this Ferrothorn is it does have Worry Seed, so if I can catch a Rotom in on a switch in, I can kill it with my 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 uh, Rhyperior. Although, you know, Rock Slide and stuff. Oh, that was a good play. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. That was a crit, wasn't it? That should not have taken me out. I'm a salt vest! How? How? I don't get it! How? How? How does that happen? I don't get it! I don't get it! Well, here's hoping Rhoda misses. Because this is gonna suck. I'm gonna seed bomb it. I'm hoping he misses. I don't get it! How does it take me out from that far? I know he's Life Orb, but still. I'm a defensive Ludicolo. I don't get it. I don't get it. I had literally almost half. Okay, well, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.